Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here, and uh, we've got eight properties today. And just a quick reminder, the first Milton Buyer Class of the Year is happening on Wednesday, January 28th in the evening. Uh, and you can find the details, miltonbuyerclass.com. Uh, it's a great way to learn about all of the steps, the eight steps of buying a home. We also talk about all of the hidden costs. We talk about how to beat other buyers to the best new listings, often before they're even listed. And we talk about how to get the best interest rates. Uh, we talk about credit scores. We have real life slides from home inspections so you can see some of the things to watch out for so you don't buy a money pit. And there's a lot more. So we've been doing it for five years. Over 550 people have come to the class and there's no cost to attend and what we do is we collect food bank donations because i think if it was just free it doesn't have the same value so we want to help other people and that's why we do the food bank donations we'll give you a nice book to take home with all the information we talk about uh, plus some stuff we don't even talk about we don't have time to talk about in the class so miltonbuyerclass.com let's get started with today's episode so 950 Sprague is 379. It's a Mattamy Village town. So it's a three-story house with a single car garage. There's a, a small den on the main floor with your laundry and your garage access. And then living, dining, kitchen up on the second. And then on the third story is your bedrooms. And there's two bedrooms and two washrooms up on the top floor. Uh, a lot of buyers will avoid listings that don't have pictures. But what I notice here immediately is that we're probably looking at a little bit more basic in terms of upgrades, but this model has sold for 380, 385, you know, like it's, it does sell in the 380s. So I think they've chosen the right price for it. It is a pretty good neighborhood. Um, you know, there's parks close by, there's some walking trails, good schools. Although most people that buy this kind of home, especially the two bedroom, tend to be couples that don't have kids. Uh, but if you got a dog, even there's some places to take the dog. Either way, looks like the right price for it. And you can ma you can Google Mattamy Sumac, S-U-M-A-C, and you should be able to find the floor plan. Now here's another one with no pictures, 1127 Zimmerman, 559.9. It's a sundial home. It's on a 109 foot lot. And as a comparison, Mattamy is typically 80 to 88 feet, so you're getting the old Milton property. You're getting a really nice sized piece of land. The house is about kind of 1750 square feet. It's got one family room, and then you've got a kitchen with a decent sized eat in, and then three bedrooms and laundry upstairs. There is a finished basement here. The finishes are nice, and they've done the little details. They even replaced the doorknob. So there is a link to the virtual tour. Check it out. Uh, turn up your bass boost on your speakers because it's got quite the uh, the bass line. Uh, but it's, it's bottom line is it's a really good home, and the price is good, and it's going to sell fast. Uh, like this one a lot. Now, the nice thing about this one on Pringle at 579 is that every other place that's sold in this little development has sold for over six hundred thousand dollars so this is a good deal uh originally i was against these because i thought who's going to pay six hundred thousand dollars for basically an attached home in milton but then i realized very quickly that in oakville it's not unusual to find townhouses that sell for 1.1 million dollars so i think people's capacity for these homes um is probably greater than i originally anticipated they're they they're really nice finishes inside nine foot ceilings on both floors uh it's impressive inside so to buy this home detached costs you a lot more Oftentimes you're finding a, a smaller lot too. So this is 113 deep. It's got a decent sized uh, backyard. And so even the doors are a little bit higher. Uh, they're better doors upstairs. So uh, these are Mattamy homes, but they've, they've done a, a pretty nice job with them. There's your garage access right there. Anyway, three bedrooms, double car garage. If you're looking for maybe something a little bit better in terms of upgrades and you're willing to just live with the fact that really I don't think you're attached by any interior walls here I think you're joined on the garage here and I think you're joined on the garage there so for bedrooms family room everything else I believe you're completely separate so 
it's the next best thing to being detached. Next one up is 33 Whitmer, number 421. It's at 409, and first listing we've seen for sale in the new Green Life 2 building, uh, a little bit further over. It's called Green Life West Side. Like this building a little bit better. Um, you are a little close to the train tracks, but you, this one in particular has some nice views, and it says it's a west view, but it's kind of a northwest view. Uh, which is one of the better views in this building. You can also find the complete west end of the building has some good escarpment views. Uh, this unit, I believe, is about a thousand square feet, a little bit more than a thousand. Uh, there is an ensuite, and I believe it has a shower. You can see the reflection in the mirror. So you've got a bathtub plus a separate shower, which you don't find in a lot of condos. Uh, so there's the views off the balcony. And I would say for this size of home, and all we can compare is really to Green Life 1, uh, unless there's a huge premium attached to this building, I don't know if they've got the goods to be over $400,000. There's nothing wrong with it, but when you look at previous sales, there were some, everything that sold over $400,000 was like three bedroom and a couple hundred square feet larger than this one with similar finishes. So. You know, we'll see what happens. Maybe they set the bar in uh, high in this building, but I just think that based on the other sales in the other building, maybe a little high. Condo fees are $131 in a similar sized unit at Costigan or, or um, you know, uh, Bristol on Main or something like that. We're probably looking at three, $350 a month. So this, these are the least expensive condo fees in Canada really because you've got solar panels, geothermal heat, uh, you've got ICF construction. There's all kinds of reasons why this building uh, has such low condo fees but it's really a, uh, a, a modern well done building. 1027 McQuaig, $599.9, by far the biggest home that you can buy under $600,000, uh, a little bit more than 2,500 square feet double garage, four bedrooms, plus there's a family room up above the garage here. You've got some nice looking hardwood floors, even little things like little niches where you can put vases or photos or whatever you want. Uh, dining room, family, and then you've got a kitchen that kind of curls around here. And uh, there's laundry on the main floor. There's your second floor family room. And uh, I mean, there's nobody, no one living in the house. Carpets have a little bit of wear and tear. I would say that they're still usable, but probably more than half the people coming in here would want to replace the carpets. But the, the basic bones and structure are here, double sinks in the master, glass shower. You've got a decent sized yard. You've got big windows and even a finished little room in the basement. Uh, it's got a ton of value. And uh, th this model has sold twice, even in the last 90 days. 630 and 632 so those homes had a little bit more upgrading and uh you know the the thought process here was put it at a good aggressive price it's going to get action so that's where it's at i think it represents terrific value and the neighbors on the left jeff and deidre are lovely people so if you're watching how you doing so anyway jump all over this it's not going to last long so there's your list, Milton Daily Homes. Uh, if you have any questions or if you wanna see anything that's listed right now, either from today's episode or anything that you can find in your search, we are here to help. And remember, miltonbuyerclass.com, coming up in a couple weeks, it's gonna be a great class.